Hello and welcome to the third episode of Shine Children Shine. Let's begin our program with the signature song. Remember what Jesus said when he was tempted by the devil? That one cannot live with bread alone, but by the word of God. Let's see what Alan has to say. Friends, good morning again! Don't you want your morning to start well in a very healthy way? Don't you want to be active, energized and happy all day? Let me share with you my secret of life. I read the Bible every day and I write down at least one paragraph in my best handwriting. Let me tell you the uses of reading the Holy Bible. First, reading the Bible in the morning is like giving a good breakfast to your body, mind and spirit. Second, it being the word of God, you become strong in faith, wise, confident and brave. Third, after I've begun reading the Bible, I have become mindful and focused in my studies that I succeed in everything I do. Fourth, after reading the Bible, I have become totally positive kind, courageous, and respectful. Fifth, Bible reading has improved my English. It is my favorite story, especially the New Testament. My word power and fluency in English has improved. Sixth, over and above, the Bible keeps me close to Jesus, who has become my best friend. So friends, any questions? Send them in the comments column and I will try to answer them in the next episode. Read the Bible and see the change in your body, mind and spirit. Happy reading! I'm sure that our viewers have learned something from these tips. A positive self can change the whole atmosphere around you. And our children are here with an action song on positivity. Positive, positive, I will always be. Positive, positive, in what I say and see. Positive, positive, I will always be. Positive, positive, to live successfully. Always remember, think positive, be positive. Calista will now recite a poem on her father. My father, my friend. My father is truly my best friend. There's no fear with him around. 
His is the voice I love to hear. When from school I'm homeward bound. When fathers of the world punish their children to discipline them or to teach them a lesson, my dad asked me to stand in a corner, understand the issue and ask for pardon. He has always taught me to tell the truth, however terrible it might be. That's how I've learned to be honest, as truthful as I can be. A year ago, I copied a formula from my friend next to me. I couldn't bear to hide it from daddy, despite the caning I thought I'd receive. The moment I saw dad that evening, I cried and hugged and died. He was surprised at my behavior and asked me if something wasn't right. I promised to go and tell my teacher that I had cheated in the test. He said he too would go with me. Until then, he could not rest. Tears rolled down my dad's pained face as I told the teacher I had copied that never again would I bring disgrace to her and to my darling daddy. Life for me has changed since then. Today, I'm proud to be very honest and the credit for that goes to my father for training me with love and kindness. Thank you. Honesty is not just about telling the truth, but also being real with yourself and with others. Here's Nicholas to share a small incident on honesty. Here's something I will never forget all my life. Sonali was in the first standard. She liked to go to school. One day, the teacher taught them the colors of the rainbow by writing down the words clearly on the blackboard. She also drew a rainbow so for them to understand and to see the colors and understand it well. She also told them that she would give them a dictation test. Everyone began learning. Some of them wrote them thrice, while the others read, spelled them aloud to remember. The teacher also taught them vibgyar for them to understand the colors of the rainbow in order. She promised them that she would give them a new pencil if they would get all the answers correct. Soon the dictation began. The children were eagerly writing. At the end of the test, the teacher corrected their books and saw that Sonali had got two words wrong. While the other students got all right. Sonali had written the words on the left page and the dictation on the right. She could have easily copied them, but Sonali did not copy. She was an honest girl. The teacher was surprised by Sonali's mistakes, yet she was happy about her honesty. She gifted her two pencils and praised her in before the entire class. Sonali was very happy. She went home to tell her mother about her gift. Her mother couldn't believe her and thought that she had taken a pencil from her classmate. That so, uh, She began scolding Sonali. Sonali began to cry. She said, Ma, I am telling the truth. I got the pencil for my honesty 
and for not copying the answers which I got wrong. Sonali's mother phoned up the teacher. The teacher said, you must be very proud of your daughter. She didn't copy the words, though she could very easily do it. I rewarded her with two pencils and praised her in front of the entire class. Sonali's mother hugged her again and again and said she was sorry that she doubted her. Sonali's father said that he was truly proud of her and that his, her classmates and teacher would not forget her. Sonali thanked her dad. So, no matter what happens, always speak the truth. Thank you. Being truthful may not be easy, but let's try and get better. Thank you, Nicholas. Let's now learn to pronounce few words correctly. And Lisa will help us do that. Let's pronounce these words correctly and clearly. This. that will not become known. What I say to you in secret, tell it in the light. And what you hear or whisper, proclaim from the housetops. Do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear 
him who can destroy both soul and body in the hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father's will. And even the hairs of your head are all counted. So do not be afraid. You are more of value than many sparrows. So you do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. It's my joy to be with you and to break this word of God for you, my dear children. You always fascinate me. How nice to be your child and remain always innocent. I too would like to sing and dance and tell stories, but I should accept myself that I can't be one like you. But that's okay. We play different roles at different times. There's a time for everything. It's your time now to have fun and frolic. So enjoy your childhood, dear children. You will never get it again. Meanwhile, let's ponder on the gospel passage that we heard just now. Jesus says we are all precious and his father loves us all dearly. He has even counted the hairs on our head. How comforting are those words, my dear children. It's a basic human need that we are all loved, that we are cared for, that we are protected, we are guided, looked after. Jesus says that we have a father who takes care of the lilies of the field and the birds of the air and much more than these he takes care of us he takes care of you and me we are much more important to him than the sparrows that are sold for two pennies in the market in this context my dear children i want to emphasize on one truth that you should never hate yourself let me repeat it again you should never hate yourself Whatever may be your race, your language, your color, or your creed, you're all important to Jesus. He loves you unconditionally here and now. His love is not measured according to your goodness. His love is constant, unlike the love of our friends. They may love us today and may not love us tomorrow. You are a great gift from God to humankind. Someone has beautifully said that persons are gifts the Creator God sends us wrapped. We are all gifts that are wrapped. Some are wrapped beautifully, some in ordinary papers. Some persons are loosely wrapped, others are wrapped very tightly. Sometimes the gifts are mishandled in the mail. Once in a while there is a special delivery. But the wrapping is not the gift. Wrapping is not the gift. So why bother to look at the wrapper? Your importance lies within, not without. Have you ever looked inside the wrapping? Maybe you have never seen the wonderful gift that you are. Could God's gift be anything but beautiful? So, dear children, appreciate yourselves. Appreciation of who you are is walking in truth and that is humility says in Frieza of Avila. Appreciating oneself is not pride. Pride is exaggerating oneself and creating a false self who you are not. Therefore, thank God for your person every day. Allow the Lord to work in you. He will carve out a wonderful statue from the marble piece of who you are. So children, when those depressing thoughts pull you down, that you are not good, that you are ugly, that you are not worthy, and the like, please tell the devil that you are beautiful, that Jesus has made you worthy, and with the help of Jesus, you can achieve anything for his glory. All the best children, 
Take care of yourself. You are precious. God loves you and I too love you. God bless you all. Thank you Father for enlightening us on the biblical passage. Before we wind up our program, let's introduce ourselves. I am Kavi Tokuntale. I am Dunning Tandagana Pedaku. I am Lisa Ashid de Souza and I study in Mount Carmel Central School. I am Calista Gonzalez. I study in 8th standard at St. Mary's School. I am Nicholas Richard Pinto. I study in Mount Carmel Central School at the 5th grade. I am Alan Philip Gaskina. I am a UXL student. I am Lisa Angela Raskina. I study in 4th grade. I am in St. Teresa School. And I am Carol Fernandez, your host. And we wish you a very happy week.